The Baby Lock Valiant is a multi-needle embroidery machine made just for the love of embroidery. So whether you're somebody who runs a small business or somebody who's just an embroidery enthusiast, this machine has you in mind. This machine is a 10 needle embroidery machine that is gonna stitch up to a thousand stitches per minute. So it's gonna make those large embroidery designs very easy to stitch out. Starting at the top, you're gonna to have a lighted spool stand that's gonna accommodate up to 10 spools of thread. You're also gonna see that the machine has a clearly marked thread path. So that's gonna give you indication of where your thread's gonna go and make it super easy and simple. It also has a built-in needle threader. So changing your threads or just threading the machine from the start is gonna be super fast and easy. It also has a bobbin case area that's easy to access. So if you need to change your bobbin, it's easy to do right there in front. Also having this bobbin case here is gonna give you the ability to do free arm embroidery. What that means is you can do things like ball caps, tote bags, garments, really easily because everything can go around the bobbin case area. Baby Black Valiant comes with tons of built-in designs and fonts, but you can also bring in designs and either save them to the memory of your machine or bring designs from your embroidery collection in using an SD card or one of the two USB ports or directly connect your machine right to the computer. Let's take a look at some of the exclusive designs built into the Valiant. If we touch exclusives, you're gonna see that there's a category of floral, a category of frames, a category of celebrate, and I can use my stylus and scroll through the designs to see the different designs. I also have a category of home accents, of quilting, some novelty designs, and you also have Ocean Life. And with Ocean Life, if you select a design, you're gonna see that these are large designs that will fill your eight by 14 field. And look how beautiful and colorful they are on the screen. This is how beautiful they are as well when you can stitch them out for your projects. I'm gonna go ahead and touch return, and I'm gonna go back to the Celebrate category, and I'm gonna show you a design. Once I've selected the design, I can go ahead and touch Set. And when I get on this editing screen, I have so many options of things I can do. I can resize my design, and I can resize it up to 200%. So if I select this icon, I now can resize my design by holding in this key, or I can use and drag and drop my design right on screen to enlarge it. I can touch this button to reset it, and then touch OK to close that box. I can also rotate my design either using the handles on the design box or I can reset that and use the, the buttons to rotate my design as desired. I also have the ability to easily duplicate my designs right on screen. So if I touch duplicate, I now have two designs that I can easily move on my screen using my stylus or moving the keypad. I also have the ability now to change the color of my design. So if I wanted to change my design to a different color palette, I could touch this design and easily change the color right on screen. I can touch reset to go back to my original colors. Touch OK to close that box. I also have the ability to take my designs and convert them into borders. So whether I just want to repeat a design over and over on my design page, or I want to actually create a border across a project, I can do that by touching this icon here. I also have the ability to turn a design into an applique. I can just take one design at a time now and I can set an applique around that one design. If I wanted it around my other design, I could select that design as well and add an applique to that. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete that design off my screen. So if I duplicate the design one more time, move them around, and I can even add a third design, and now I have the ability to group these designs, and I can group them selecting one design, two designs, or all three of them together. So if I select the designs on screen, it will now group all of those designs together. Touch OK, and now these designs will move around together. When I'm done editing my design, I can go ahead and touch End Edit. And this is where there's some really fun features on the machine. I could still rotate my designs together, add a basting stitch to my design. So whether I'm putting a topping on a towel or that sort of thing with the project, I could add a basting stitch. I also have the ability to do pattern connection. 
and then I also have the ability to put stops in on my design. I can position my design using the positioning stickers that come with your machine. And then I have a new feature here called the color sort. And when I touch color sort, that will color sort my designs. But let me show you first what it looks like without color sorting. I'm gonna to touch embroidery. It's gonna bring in my design. I'm gonna to touch okay. And you're gonna see now too, I have an embroidery progress bar that's gonna show across the top of my screen. Right now, it's gonna sew my design out in a color order of each individual design with the four colors. And then it's gonna sew the four colors again. If I hit return and select the color sort function, now it's going to group all of my colors together. So while I have a multi-needle embroidery machine and my machine can efficiently move back and forth, this is still gonna help me save time because I can stitch all my greens at one time, then my needle can switch to another color and switch all my other, sew out all my other colors. So let's go back to the home page. Some other designs that are built into the machine are a lot of fonts. There's 41 different font designs built in the machine, including three monograms and seven large fonts. I'd like to show you a few more features that are really fun on the Valiant. I'm gonna go into exclusives again, and I'm gonna to go to Home Accents. I'm gonna select one of these Paisley designs, and I wanna show you when you're looking at your thumbnails on this screen, you have the option to see the thumbnails smaller, at a middle size, or you can even see them larger. So especially on a machine like this, you may wanna see the real fine detail of these designs up close. So when you select the design you want, touch set, and if I wanna go in here and change the color of this design, so with 10 needles on this machine, I wanna play with all of those different colors. If I select my color palette, I can come in here and switch any of the colors using a 64 color palette or a 300 color palette. So with the 64 color palette selected, I'm gonna to try to change the background color of that Paisley. So right now it's kind of a, a cream brown color, but if I go over here and I select a pink color, you're gonna see that now it has changed the color of my design. If I go down here and select another color, I can just instantly touch right here and then select a different color for that part of the design. If I wanna reset my colors, I just touch the reset button and it will go back to the original color palette. The Valiant also has Color Visualizer built in. If I touch the Color Visualizer button, it's gonna give me four different palettes that I can choose from. So if you're like me and you wanna be able to match your design colors to maybe the bedding in your room or a specific project, you can do some wonderful things with the Color Visualizer. I can select a design of random, and I can come in here and I can actually pin colors that are the colors that I'm gonna use for my design. So I could select a color, select another color, and continue to select up to six different colors that are gonna coordinate with my room. Once I get them all selected and pinned, I can touch OK, and it's gonna showcase for me nine different versions of that design using that color palette that I gave it. If I touch the refresh key, it's gonna to continue to give me more and more options. I can keep going on into infinity, getting all of these different design options. Once I find one that I like, I can select that design, it'll give me a large preview, and then I can go ahead and touch set, and it'll bring that design in with those colors in mind. And then when I'm ready to stitch, I can just go ahead and touch okay, and complete any other editing I need to do and stitch out my design. So we're gonna go back to the home page, and we're gonna take a look at some of the other built-in designs on this machine. There's also a large number of frames that are available for the machine. You can scroll through the different tabs to find the different shapes, and then there's different stitch outs for each of those frames. You also have 41 built-in fonts on the Valiant. That includes a monogram font that includes three different monogram styles and some coordinating frames. You also have some regular fonts, and I can scroll down to see the different fonts that are available. You also have some large built-in fonts. There's seven large built-in fonts, including an applique font. So if I select a font, you can, again, scroll through, seeing the different fonts and frames that are available for this design. I can also use my, my stylus and just scroll through the designs. This design here is an applique font 
so you'll notice that there's no fill in between it. It's actually designed to stitch out as an applique with fabric underneath it. I'm gonna go ahead and touch return. And then this last icon here is a color bar testing. And that's something that you would just stitch out to check the tensions on your machine when you get it set up. Valiant also has some wonderful font editing features built right into the machine. So I'm gonna to go to the font key and I'm gonna select a font and I'm gonna type in the word Valiant and I can choose from uppercase to lowercase. And if you've noticed that you've misspelled something, I can use these arrows here and go back to that letter, touch delete, and just quickly add a new letter. If I wanted to add another word, but I didn't want it to be right next to the word Valiant, I have multi-line text available on this machine. Touch that Enter key, and now I can add another word. When I do that, I also now have the ability to array my designs. I can take this letter, the word rocks, and I can arch it. I can arch it under. I can slant it and do all sorts of different arrays on the machine. I can touch this to go back to the regular font justification. And now if I decided I did want to delete that last line, I can just touch the delete key and it'll bring me back to my word Valiant. When I'm ready to do embroidery, I can touch set. And on the embroidery edit page, I now have all sorts of editing features for just fonts. If you touch the font type key, I can now audition different font types by just scrolling to that font and selecting it. So I can see and adjust my font type right on screen. I also have the ability to adjust different letters. So if I just wanna change the font for the first letter, I can do that just with the touch of a button. I also can adjust my spacing. I could continue to array my design if I wanted to decide I wanted to array my design. I could also split my letters apart so that I can make some really fun embroidery designs and I can also make my design stitch out in multicolor. I also love that I have lots of built-in controls on this machine. One of them is that I have built-in video on the machine. I'm gonna go ahead and touch my home key and just get back to the home screen. And down here at the bottom, I have an option for settings pages, for video or for operational guides on the machine. I'm gonna to touch that and you'll see now that I have built-in videos on the machine. So I told you earlier it was easier to, to thread this machine. I actually have a video that I can watch that's gonna show me how to thread the machine right on screen. I can pause it and when I'm done and I'm ready to get out of it, I can just hit close. Again, I can watch any of the other different videos by touching the different categories. The built-in camera on the Valiant makes positioning my designs easy and quick. I can hoop my fabric and on my screen, I can touch this icon right here. And what it's gonna do is it's going to scan my fabric or my project that's in the hoop. And it's gonna give me a real-time image on the screen. So on the screen now, you can see the stripe in my bag. So this helps me to be able to move my design or align it with whatever the project is in the hoop. Another way that I can use the camera on the Valiant is using the positioning stickers. I'm going to put my sticker on my garment, right where I want my design to go. I'll touch the positioning sticker icon, touch OK, and I can select from different points of placement and touch scan. And now the camera is going to scan and find my positioning sticker and place my design right where it needs to go. Once it's found the positioning sticker, it'll tell me to remove that. I can touch OK, and then I'm ready to embroider my garment. My Baby Lock Valiant comes with four included hoops, the largest of that being an 8x14 hoop. There's also tons of optional hoops that I can purchase for the machine, including this large 14x14 hoop, which lets me create some really big embroidery designs. There's also some other optional hoops that are great for my specialty projects. So for more information about the Baby Lock Valiant, visit your local retailer and find out more about the machine and all the optional accessories and unleash the embroiderer in you.